In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the WP Code Snippet Library in All-in-One SEO. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section into your Download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the Plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at AIOSEO.com account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the license key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got AIO SEO installed, let's head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says Tools. And then on the page that pops up, let's click on the tab up top that says Code Snippets. And here we currently have 14 code snippets that you can use on your site at the time of this recording. There may be more added in the future. You can do all kinds of different things with these code snippets. Here's one, for example, Disable SEO Preview Feature. So if you use that snippet, you can disable the SEO Preview Feature if you just wanted to see your content without the SEO Preview. Here's another one that enables WooCommerce product attributes in search appearance. Here's one that limits the SEO title to 60 characters. The one I'm going to use in this example today is to limit our meta description to 160 characters. And that's important because if you don't and you have a meta description that's longer than that, Google will automatically truncate it. So if you wanted to use this snippet, all you do is click the blue button that says Use Snippet. And then when you land on this page, there will be a toggle switch up top that's grayed out and set to inactive. Flip that toggle switch to active. And then if we scroll on down the page, there's a whole bunch of different options on the code insertion. I'm going to dive into all of these options a little bit later in the video. But right now, I want you to remember something very important to leave the insertion method on auto insert, but change the location from run everywhere to front end conditional logic. That combination will ensure that the all-in-one SEO code snippets run at the proper time. So once you've changed that from Run Everywhere to Front End Conditional Logic, go ahead and click the blue Update button, and your changes will be saved. The all-in-one SEO code snippet will run at the proper time. In this case, it's the code snippet to limit the meta description to 160 characters. So now I'm going to go ahead and scroll back down the page and just show you what some of those other options are for working with code snippets. The default option is on insertion, it's set to auto insert. So with auto insert selected, the default location is run everywhere. It's going to run this code snippet everywhere on your website. Now, if you didn't want to auto insert this and run it everywhere on your site, you could select the short code option and you could just copy this short code out and drop it in in the code of your page anywhere you want to run this code snippet. If I go back to auto insert, you don't have to run it everywhere. If you click this drop down, you get a whole bunch of options here. I could run only in the admin area. I could run only on the front end. 
even if you are running it everywhere, you even have control on how you want to run that everywhere. So you can run it everywhere in the header of your site, in the body of your site, or in the footer of your site. You could also run the code before a specific HTML element, and you can do that by calling out a specific CSS selector. You could run it after that element, at the start of an element, at the end of an element, or you could even use this to replace an HTML element. So you really have extremely specific control on how you use this code snippet. You can also choose to run your code snippet on any device that accesses your website or only on desktop or only on mobile. So if you had a code snippet you wanna run, but only when people access your website for mobile devices, you can click mobile only here and set that up. And for the example we used in the beginning of this video, our all-in-one SEO code snippet, limiting the description to 160 characters. This really wouldn't apply, but there's other types of code snippets that you may want to limit to desktop or mobile only. You can enable logic and use smart conditional logic. Again, that's a more advanced feature. And then we have code revisions here. Some of these features are pro features. Some are available on the free plan. I only have one revision here. If I made changes to the code and hit update, there would be multiple versions that appear here of my revisions. And if something I did broke my website, I could very easily go back and undo by selecting one of my older revisions. And this is just basic info about the code snippet. So that's how to use the WP Code Snippet Library in all-in-one SEO. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to integrate social media into your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.